Hello, in this video we're going to be breaking down a Max for Live patch and seeing what the programming language of Max for Live looks like and how it can be used to manipulate things inside of Live. Um, a friend of mine, Afro DJ Mac, had asked me if there was a way to change the MIDI record quantize which, with an external device. And built into Live, there is no functionality like that. MIDI record quantize, if you go into Live, go to the edit menu, you see record quantization. This is saying that when I play MIDI notes um, into a clip, will they be automatically quantized for me? And there's no way to MIDI map this uh, built into Live, but you can do it with Max for Live. So the idea was to create a set of buttons in a plugin in Max for Live uh, that can control these. And then that could be then mapped to an external control surface like a launch pad or an APC40, and it could be manipulated on the fly. So some of the design specifications. First, um, it had to have a nice interface, which we were able to create uh, using Max for Live. We need to have separate buttons for each of the values of the MIDI record quantize. And I'm going to look at global quantize now because I've added this to the patch functions the same exact way, but changes this pull down here. So the idea was I should be able to click on one of these and it would change the global quantize, which it does. I would also need to be able to change the global quantize here and it automatically change in the plugin, which it, with it, which it does. And these also have to be MIDI mappable. So if I hit Command M, they're each separate buttons that could be mapped to different buttons on my APC40, which they can be there. Additionally, um, if I change these and they're, and they're MIDI map, the lights should light up on the APC40, the launch pad, and we're able to accomplish that as well. So it really functions just like kind of a built-in plug-in. The MIDI Learn works great, and the lights work both ways in a really kind of natural way. Let's break this patch down and see how it works. So we have the quantize mapper here, and really it, it functions just like any other device. If you download the plugin, you'll see you can just add it to your Max Audio Effect section. Uh, you have to own Max for Live first, of course, um, but you'll add it to your Max Audio Effect uh, folder, and you'll see it here called Quantize Mapper. This can be dragged into any audio track, um, and it'll work just fine. My suggestion is to put it on your master track, because uh, it is kind of global, um, but that, it doesn't really matter where it goes in your live set. Once it's in your live set, uh, you'll see it here, and you can MIDI map these buttons like usual or key map them like usual. What I'm really interested in, though, is how we created the patch. So if we click this icon here, it will actually open up um, Max for Live. When this first opens up, you'll find that it's a frozen device, and it's frozen, um, which which allows you to take all the additional assets of the of the plugin, like that background picture we have, and kind of add it to the patch. So this is a frozen patch, which by default will be um, uneditable. Uh, just like freezing a track in, uh, in live. So if you click on the snowflake here, it will um, unfreeze the device. And then you have a lock icon, which also lets you edit it or not. Uh, you can also unlock a device if you're on a Mac by command clicking in the background. Right now we're looking at the presentation mode, which is how it looks as a plug-in. Um, but if we want to edit the connections and see the actual programming behind this, we'll have to click on this kind of um, easel kind of icon to get out of presentation mode and go to the patching mode. When you open up this device, you'll see that it's set up in really two main sections um, that are totally identical. We have uh, MIDI record quantize here and the global quantize here. The two sections function exactly the same. I basically just copy pasted the entire logic and then just changed a couple specifics. So we'll talk about global quantize, but the options are the same uh, for the MIDI record quantize.